Mike, thanks. Power is back on across western New York this afternoon. But this morning, more than 5,000 National Grid customers in Niagara County woke up in the dark. News for Katie Alexander is live in North Tonawanda with an update on some of the problems it caused. Katie. Well, Mel, this 7-Eleven at the corner of Robinson and Division was one of many places that lost power this morning, and that made for a rough morning for customers who were counting on the crew here for caffeine. I actually live across the street and I have power. And when I got here, they said no coffee. So I was a little upset. What is that going to mean for your morning? It's going to be a slow morning. The great coffee crisis of 2018 was really the least of the problems in this area, though. The traffic lights on the Twin Cities Highway at Robinson were reset with the outage and were left blinking red. The four way stop intersection quickly became a hot spot for near misses and fender benders. North Tonawanda saw its fair share of traffic trouble, with the power outage knocking out several traffic lights around the area. The De Virgilio family had a noisy wake up call. Uh, a lot of cars beeping at the light because nobody understands how a four way stop works. A little later in the morning, this was the sound filling the air generators powering the traffic light at Payne and Walk and the fire station at that corner. We're told the situation here was unusual. We normally don't lose power, uh, even in the worst windstorms we've had. So it was a little strange to wake up to not have power this morning. Nearly everyone had their power back on by 8.30 this morning, meaning 7-Eleven customers could get their coffee again. And in other places that had been dark, people had reason to smile. Still, it's probably not hard to spot some of the people who woke up without power today. I couldn't shave this morning, so that was a little difficult. Um... Remember, if you ever lose power, you can always connect with us using your smartphone or your tablet. Use the Forewarn app to get the latest news and weather updates. You can also watch our newscast streaming live. For now, reporting live in North Tonawanda, Katie Alexander, News 4. All right, Katie, thank you. The